with another video. This time I'm going to show you guys what I picked up this week. And it is not a lot of stuff, but some cool stuff. Uh, the Criterion sale that went on on uh, Barnes & Noble, which, I don't know. I used to see a lot of Barnes & Noble back in the day, but now I'm just seeing like maybe like one or two in every town. Uh, there's... Uh, I don't know if Amazon is killing them or I don't know what's going on, but uh, there really isn't too many Barnes and Noble left in this uh, uh, in this world. Uh, now that I think about it, but yeah, I got to show you guys what I picked up. I picked up five Criterion titles. Uh, the the fifty percent sale that was going on, so I bought five. Usually when they do that sale, I buy five at twenty dollars each like a hundred bucks so um i also got well let me just show you guys what i got and i'm gonna do an un unboxing uh shit that i picked up from amazon and also some playstation 4 games but i'm gonna start with the the cheapest shit that i got the cheapest one that i that i got for uh i don't know i went to a dollar store not not the dollar store uh the dollar general the dollar tree some shit like that and i found this for a dollar 95 and this is otis uncut i do have the dvd somewhere and i don't remember it uh i re uh, i don't know if it was a good movie or not but whatever for two bucks i said yeah sure i'll get it and uh War it's from warner brother it's 100 minutes and it has a uh, Daniel Stern in it, so you know I had to I had to pick this up. It's a, it's a, you know it's definitely an upgrade from my uh, DVD copy that's somewhere back there. So yeah, so Otis Uncut um, looks like a comedy horror. Anyway, so here are the criterions that I picked up were Fast Times at Richmond Height, uh, awesome awesome fucking eighties movie. This is a, a, a true definition of 80s greatness from 1982. So it's like way, way early 80s, 1982. Great soundtrack, uh, awesome acting, and, and you know, just a, a cool story in general. And this is, of course, a, this, you know, Criterion is packed with, uh, you know, restored 4K digital transfer. Uh, you got a new conversation with uh, Hecklin and Crow. Uh, you got uh, the 1999 documentary featuring interviews with cast and crew members. Audio discussion from 1982. You got uh, a new introduction by Crow. And an essay uh, by uh, film critic Dana Stevens. There's so much special features in this uh, really cool uh, release here by uh, Criterion. Uh, and, and the cover, the cover art is really, really cool. I like it. I dig it. So yeah, uh, Fast Times at Richmond High, you know, awesome movie. If, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this have seen this movie, but if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and go see it. Anyways, I got here, um, Deep Cover. This is from the early, uh, 90s, uh, kind of like, You know, gangster movie, you know, Lawrence Fishburne, awesome. I, I saw the movie a very long time ago, and I don't remember much of it. But I know it was a pretty good movie. Deep cover. I do have it on DVD, so this is an upgrade for me. Then I picked up uh, get, uh, Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn and Charade. Uh, I, heard, I heard nothing but great stuff about this movie. I've never seen it before. 1963 classic. It's uh it's in color and uh it's 113 minutes. Not not so much not so much of uh special features here in charade here. You got uh, the original theatrical trailer, you got a booklet featuring an essay by film historian Bruce Eater. Uh, restored in high definition high definition. Digital transfer with uncompressed monoro uh, soundtrack. Uh, audio commentary. I mean, when it comes to uh, special features, this this release doesn't 
barely has anything, for sure. But I heard great things about it. I heard it was a really good movie. And of course, it's not available on Netflix. It's not available on Hulu. And it's not available on Amazon Prime or none of that streaming service junk. But it is available on physical media. So I had to get it. Charade, Audrey Hepburn, and Gary Grant. For sure. Then I, I got this, picked up this movie, which looks pretty interesting. I've never even heard about this. It's called Night on Earth. And I don't know. Uh, 1991, 128 minutes, so it's over two hours long. Uh, it looks pretty cool, like, you know, the story. It says it's in English, French, Italian, and Finnish with English subtitles. So it's just a random, random movie about five, it says uh, five cities, five taxi cabs, um, a multitude of strangers in the night. Um, it, I mean, it has an interesting uh, concept, so I'm definitely going to pop this one in the DVD player and give this a watch ASAP, because in the early 90s, I'm a big fan of early uh, 1990s uh, movies and shit. And then the last one I got here is The Salesman, which is from 1969, and this is in black and white, and I've never heard anything from this, but... If, if you Google uh, the top 10 criterions of all time, they, they give you a list of like all like a lot of different opinions from, from people that really know about films and shit. And the salesman always pops in, in their top 10, like maybe number seven, number eight, number two, number one, whatever. But, you know, not in everybody's list, but in a lot of people's lists. Um, so, yeah, if you have a chance, go to Google and put um Criterion Top 10. And you're going to see The Salesman comes up a lot. A lot. Like, like you know, 12, 12 Angry Men. And um, which one's the other one that came out a lot? Um, uh, Eraserhead would come out a lot. And, you know, a lot of good Criterion titles that have come out over the year. But The Salesman, I've never even heard of this. But I'm definitely going to watch it. You know, it's, it seems pretty good. And it's 91 minutes, so it's not that long. It's black and white, and I'm sure the the the, 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 the high definition is on point. It's a 4K digital transfer, so it has to be good. And um, I, I just, I don't know what I'm jumping myself, what I'm jumping into with this. But yeah, definitely. Salesman. What's next? Uh, video games. Comes to video games, I picked up some uh, PlayStation 4 games. I did uh, We Happy Few. Picked it up. Pre-owned, pre-owned at GameStop. They didn't have a pre-owned copy, so they gave me a brand new copy for like eight bucks, I think I paid for it. So we happy few. It doesn't look the best, but you know, I don't know. Might be fun. Who knows? Oh, oh, this is awesome. Mega Man, Mega Man Zero ZX, the Legacy Collection. This brings Mega Man Zero, Mega Man Zero Two, Mega Man Zero Three, Mega Man Zero Four, Mega Man ZX, and Mega Man ZX Advance. These are mostly all like um, Game Boy Advance games. Now on the PS4, awesome idea, great shit. I can't wait to watch to to watch to play this. Uh, it looks really, really, really good. The only thing, the only thing crappy thing about this shit is that when this freaking store, uh, GameStop, they put this damn sticker here, and now it's all sticky and shit, so I can't put it next to another one, because it's gonna get stuck, and it's all sticky and shit, so I gotta buy, like, a new case, or, I don't know, man, but, but, that, that, that blows, that, that sucks, so yeah, all six games in this collection of Mega Man Zero ZX, love Mega Man, I love Mega Man, all their games are good, Capcom, Keep on, keep on making Mega Man games. Then I got here, this one was super cheap too. Uh, Monster Energy uh, Supercross, official game. So I wanted to get this because I don't have a bike game. So I wanted to check out like a dirt bike game, see if it's any good, see if it's any fun. I don't know, Not, not I don't hear not, too, not a lot of people talking about dirt bike games and shit. So I want to give this one a try. And it was so cheap. That, um, yeah, I had to get it. Then I got two. I haven't gotten limited run games in a very, very, very long time because it was just getting too expensive. 
to maintain and to you know to buy one every week because now uh limited run like they blow they throw games left and right not like in the beginning beginning when they started they would release two two physical media games like every month or so but now it's like they're doing like three or four games every week i can my wallet is hurting my wallet hurts right now and i can't keep up with limited run so i just order the ones that i you know kind of like looks like i'm gonna like so i got mystic bell that looks like a pretty good um fun rpg uh 2d 2d ish rpg uh it looks pretty good and you know a different concept of a little witch running around doing spells and shit um i don't mind playing that one and then um mighty switch force collection which has a mighty switch force one two and then academy and then uh hyperdrive edition so these games are pretty cool they're like uh 2d platformers so yeah man i'm i'm really i want to dig into this one and, and play a couple of these for sure now to the unboxing of this amazon package which i mean to be 100 percent honest i i don't even know what i ordered because i ordered all these packages and they come and i just throw them back there and then Whenever I decide to open them, I open them. But let's see what we got here. Oh, sweet. Okay. This is pretty cool. This is a little sale that, that um, they, you know, not a sale, but cheap Blu-rays that they have. And uh, mostly uh, these uh, Mill Creek v, uh, VHS uh, throwbacks four of them actually so i got uh james woods and robert downey jr here and true believer uh never seen any of these so this is gonna be a first time watch for me this is from what year is this 1989 robert downey jr is still a baby uh, i love i love these concept vhs old school vhs uh things looks awesome anyways so true believer we got gold diggers christina richie's there so gold diggers i used to have a crush on her she she was really uh cute and um yeah so uh it's, it's funny there's a sticker here that says warning this video cassette will melt if left in the car or in the sun that's super cool, that sticker right there, and then has a sticker of PG. This is Mill Creek Entertainment, of course, throwing all these uh, old school, look at the spine, look at that spine, how cool. Uh, when you put them together, they look awesome, the spines. And um, yeah, so Gold Diggers, I've never seen it, so that's a PG three. Then I got here, Sir Audrey Weaver and Gorillas in the Mist. Never seen this before. Uh, I don't know. Two hours and nine minutes. This is going to be tough. I don't know if I could stay awake for two hours of Mr. Audrey Weaver and, and uh, her monkeys here. But we'll see. It might be good. PG-13. PG uh, we'll see about this one. I don't know. Then I got Sylvester Stallone here in Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. This is, uh, I'm assuming, one of his uh, comedy roles from 1980. Who knows what year this is? It doesn't even say the damn year. But it sure does look like the 80s. No, it, it's actually not the 80s. It says 1992. 1992 well, it looks like the 80s but close enough 1992 and uh sylvester stallone here with uh one of the golden girls uh there and um one of see it. and then this one i thought i had but i apparently i never had so i checked in my catalog i checked in my list i checked physically in my shelf and i didn't have it 
And I'm like, oh shit, I need to jump on this, man. It was only for like seven bucks, seven bucks on Amazon. So I had to pick it up. Robin Williams and Dead Poet Society. Had to get it. How did I not have this movie? This is a great, great movie. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure it's not available on any of the streaming services. It might be, but uh, you know, I don't, I'm sure you have to pay extra or, or whatever the, the deal is. But it doesn't matter because guess what? I have it on physical media. So, uh, Dead Poet Society. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, the last of my uh, pickups for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about the movies I picked up. Nothing great. I mean, the Criterion ones, are they look really, really good. But, um, man, I can't wait to see uh, that. Uh, can't wait to see that uh, Salesman. And I can't wait to see uh, that. Uh, what was the other one I wanted to see? I forgot. Uh, was it Salesman? Oh, yeah, this one. This is uh, the weird one. The Night on Earth. I've never heard anything about this movie. So, Night on Earth, I really want to check it out. Sometimes you come across these hidden gems and you don't even know it. Like, you pop them in and you're not expecting something good and all of a sudden it becomes one of the best movies you've ever seen in your life. So, I have a good feeling about this one. It looks pretty good. And it's not uh, talked about that much. But yeah, uh, look how cool it looks like when you put all the... All these cassettes, this Mill, Mill Creek all together and shit. You know, it looks really cool. I have a bunch more. I have a lot of them there. Um, I should just have a section just for the Mill Creeks. And yeah, these games are cool. Uh, can't wait to play them. Uh, again, all I need is time, time, time. If I had all the time in the world, I would play and watch all the stuff. But it's, it gets kind of hard, so you got to pick. You got to be smart and pick what to watch, when to watch, and what to play, when to play. Watching is a little bit easier and better because it's only a couple of hours. And man, these games, like right now I'm playing The Last of Us Part 2. Oh, I'm like by hour 21. And it's like, it's not over. And I have to keep on. And, I, and God forbid, if you want to platinum these games or you want to achieve everything in the games... It's gonna take you a lot longer than you know the completion of the game because then you have to go back to the chapters and redo them and collect everything and all this crazy shit. But whatever, at the end of the day, when you get that platinum trophy, it's worth it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, next week, I'm probably gonna do another video picking up a bunch of uh vinegar syndromes that I ordered. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Goodbye.